friends, I'm Bev Adams and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! and this is one of the cards that I am suggesting for our Getting Started Challenge. It's a nice little wedding card um, and it's using Bermuda Bay and Whisper White cardstock and our basic supplies from my Getting Started. If you haven't seen my Getting Started Challenge Come on over to my website at bevadams.com and there's a, a video and an ex explanation of the project. But basically I'm trying to come up with as many different cards as I can with basic supplies. As we make this card, don't worry about um, keeping track of the sizes or the supplies that we need because you can click on the link and it will bring you to this printable uh, supply list and it gives you all the dimensions that you need to cut your paper at and step-by-step -step directions. So let's get started. You're going to need white cardstock and we are going to cut it in half the long way at four and a quarter. And I'm using my trimmer but you can use a blade and a and a ruler and we are going to cut we're going to fold it at two and three quarters really two and and um, let's see what did I decide this was just one eighth more than two and three quarters here we want to have a little bit of an overlap swing it around the other way two and three quarters and then slide it over just an eighth Oh, that's actually a sixteenth, isn't it? So let's get my directions out. And it was scored at two and thirteen sixteenths on each end. You're also going to need a piece of Whisper White cardstock that is, this one is five by three and seven eighths and Bermuda Bay which is five and an eighth by a fourth. These are kind of odd sizes because usually I will fold a card in half at five and a half by four and a quarter um, but this one's folding in this way and we do want to have a little bit of an overlap because we're going to use the decorative label punch to make a little border now what we want to do is mark the center of this cardstock. So I'm going to get my ruler out and measure two and an eighth on each end and just put a little mark. Now I don't know if you'll be able to see this I'm going to line up the edge of my cardstock with this point and this point so we can get a pretty even border and centered on that little line. Can you see that? And I'm going to punch. Now I'm going to think about turning this into a half circle right here. Let me see if I can get it in there. So this is going to be a half circle and then this is aiming toward that same corner. It's not going to quite get there but aiming toward there. And the same thing on the other side. This little half circle and aiming toward that same point and then that gives a nice little border along the edge of our cardstock. Same thing on both sides. Now this is a little bit trickier than a basic beginner card. But it's so nice to have a border trim. And so I'm pushing my tool use to make this border 
with a punch. Stampin' Up! has lots of, has border punches, um, and it has frameless tees with the big shot, but this challenge is with basic supplies. So I think that that's going to do it for us. The other thing you want to do is you want to dye your ribbon. And I showed you how to dye ribbon with a marker. And you can do that with the Bermuda Bay marker. And you're just going to be coloring along and get it as even as you can, but don't worry about it too much because it kind of fades in, um, not fades, but kind of as it kind of bleeds into the ink, into the ribbon, into the fabric, and makes it more even. Now, if you've decided to do this with your stamp pads, you can do that too. Um, you can just push the ribbon onto your stamp pad with a scrap of paper or something that you don't need to worry about it. And again, this will dye your ribbon. Do set this aside for a while to dry. And depending on how much ink you get into the ribbon, it may take longer to dry. I made a very beautiful card, but I didn't wait for it to dry, and you can see that this ribbon has lots of ink on it, and I got ink all over my white cardstock. But while I've got this out, I want to show you how you can step this card up. Um, you can just cut a slit in the cardstock, and then I punched a couple of holes so I can slip a, a gift card in here. And I'll show you how to do that in just a little bit. So, this card you're going to be stamping your greeting. And we're going to use both congratulations and bride and groom from the Sweet Essentials set. And especially if you're going to be doing the gift card slot, you want to do this kind of high up. Now, I might not get this really even because I'm having a hard time getting my head there without getting in the way of the camera. Now, if you wanted to um, make that slot, you're going to measure two and a half inches down and three quarters of an inch over on each side. You're just going to punch a hole with a regular standard um, punch and then cut a slit between it and that will make you give you your uh, card slit. Then when you go to adhere it, in fact let me go ahead and do that. I'm not going to bother measuring exactly, I'm just going to guess. This is not a Stampin' Up! stamp, and sometimes it's it's definitely not the quality of Stampin' Up! stamps. And I will go ahead and use my trimmer, but again, you can use scissors or um, a mat knife. And we're going to just slit from hole to hole, just like that. Then when it's time to adhere it, we're just going to go all the way around. But you don't want to be putting any adhesive in this center part because that's where your gift card's going to go. And then I'll go ahead and Adhere this to the inside of our card. And if you want to, on this one, you can go to the in, inside. And just center this as close as you can in, in there. Now we're going to stamp, and we're going to stamp the big swirl.
and we're going to be stamping that in Bermuda Bay and we're going to stamp it from so this is the bottom of the card turn it over this will be the front and center of the card so I want my swirl to start in this corner and end up up here and it is going on to the back of the card you could just cover that up if you want and then you're going to flip the stamp around and go from here up to this corner and give that ink a chance to soak in and then it kind of comes together in the front. Then you're going to punch that, that hole punch again, the center. Okay. And now we've got bride and groom on the stamp, but I've got both words, so I'm going to clean it off. And to clean it off, I'm using my my mist. But you can use um, a, a wipe with no alcohol in it. This mist does have a conditioner in it that makes your stamp last longer. And there's two ways that you can stamp part of the greeting. You can either use the marker like this, and I'm going to just ink up bride. With the side of my marker. And I'm going to kind of put and in the middle. And that works like that. Or you can clean the stamp again. And just to be sure I haven't picked up any uh, random ink from there, I want to stamp again. If you decided to use the stamp pads instead of the stamp, instead of the markers, you could put a piece of just regular um, tape, get the ink and then remove that tape. Be sure and put it somewhere where it's not going to get make a mess for you because it's got lots of ink on it. And then we can just stamp groom on the other side. Now our card's basically done. I do have a piece of ribbon that hopefully it's been dried enough and it won't leave a mark behind. If you were going to sign your card, you could still sign it. Um, you will have um, room down here where it won't be covered up by your gift card. And tie a bow. Doing that on the video is a challenge. And you can fluff your bow. Done. What do you think? Oh, I should trim this a little bit. There we go. Now I'm done ready to give to the bride and groom. If you want more information or see lots more ideas, come on over to my website, bevadams.com, and you can search for this card under Getting Started Samples, and um, happy stamping. Thank you for coming by. Bye.